Hey guys, Brock from Biker's Edge. Test riding the new Orbea Oeth TR. Now this is Orbea's XC race bike with a little bit longer travel, uh, 120 millimeter travel front and rear. Dropper post, a little bit beefier tires. It now features the OMX Carbon, so a little bit lighter weight. The OMX Carbon has been based and kind of borrowed off of their road bikes and gravel bikes. Bringing this bike in at a really, really light weight. Frame set is under 1800 grams. Let's give it a ride and see what we think. Go. Okay, I'm out here climbing on the new Orbea OE. They are using the OMX carbon, so it's a lighter carbon, um, borrowed from their road bikes and I believe on some of the gravel bikes. It's their higher end carbon, which makes this an impressively light bike. Um, so frame set is coming in under 1800 grams with a shock. There's a couple of things to point out here. So 120 mil travel bike, based off an XC bike, uh, just gives a little more oomph. You get that Fox 34 step cast. This bike's just well thought out. So you get a four caster tire up front, recon race in the rear, um, really fast tire up back, a little more traction up front. I mean, I assume if you're riding a 120 travel bike, you're gonna want a little more traction up front, handle those higher speeds, a little more aggressive riding. So geometry and fit wise on this bike, I'm about 5'9", riding a large frame, which generally I'm a medium, but this one just feels right. It's a, got a nice racy feel to it. Stretching me out just a little bit. Stem is flipped down on this bike. Before a 120 millimeter travel bike, it's light and racy. On this new version, the stays are a little bit shorter. Um, and that probably what is playing into kind of maneuverability and able to whip it around the corners and stuff like that. It just feels like wherever I put it, it goes. So a lot of questions we get at the shop regarding short travel bikes is, yeah, well, how does it do in the rough? So I picked the roughest trail that I could think of. Usually I come down this, I'm gonna go up it right here. Got my suspension set up per factory recommendations, a little bit softer on the fork. It's handling this chunk really well. Here's a little bit more. A good stretch. It honestly kind of feels like I'm gaining speed through here. You can see through here. This is just chunky, uphill. The bike handles well. Zero pedal strikes so far. Cool feature as well is they've got their squid lock on here, which is your dropper and your remote lockouts integrated into one lever. Cleans up the bar a little bit. As we get into here, get a little more flowy, a little bit faster. I think that is my favorite thing is just carrying so much speed through these turns on the climbs. Again, short stays, lightweight. Steep seat tube angle. Just makes for a really good pedaling bike. Lots of traction even standing up, kind of working through those rougher inclines and such. Here we go, dropper goes down. Feels good through the brake bumps. Here we go. You know, at times when I descend on these shorter travel bikes, get a little sketchy. They're lightweight, they bounce around a little bit. Not as grippy of tires. 
this one feels really planted. I'm rather impressed. I just rode this like two days ago on my trail bike. I'd be willing to bet my time's faster today. This will open up in some flowy, good burn, stuff like that. Again, this is all part of the Snow Basin midweek race course here. Here we go, first kind of burn that's loose. The bike just accelerates, man. You get on it and throw a few pedals in, it just moves. Nice predictable cornering. See, I mean, that's like five or six pedal strokes and the bike just starts moving. Handles that rough stuff just so good. I'm really impressed with this bike. I normally ride longer travel trail bikes. Uh, I could do this. This might be the perfect northern Utah snow basin bike. We sold a lot of these bikes. Now I'm jealous of all you guys that own them. Coming back through the forest here. I chose this way because it's the rough way. Already pretty sold on this bike, so I want to ride the really rough stuff fast. See if I can get bounced around a little bit. Push it, see if I can find its limits. I know I keep saying this, but a few pedal strokes, just this. one, two, three. Just does this bike wonders. It accelerates really quick. This is exactly what I wanted to do on this bike. Pedal in, keeping my speeds up. No, I mean, it's planted. You don't get bounced around. Suspension works really well. I even could probably soften up my fork a little bit. I've used probably 80% travel today. It was just good. A couple features that I'm noticing on the new bike is saddle this year is way more comfortable. Maybe that's just me, but uh, last year's just didn't work. The grips are also like normal size um, in years past. They were smaller. Um, that was basically the first two things I would have done on this bike personally was put a regular size grip on it and a better saddle. And uh, check, check, they did it. All right, so kind of concluding thoughts on this bike here is uh, I'm very impressed. It made a trail bike guy love XC bikes again. Um, it just worked really, really well. Suspension's really active. I mean, I feel like I was able to ride that as hard as some 130, 140 travel bikes. I think this is the ideal bike for your cross country guy that's no longer racing perhaps. Um, I'd call it a marathon bike even. The guys that are going out and doing big Epic rides, 50 miles plus, um, big climbs, and it's light. I don't, I don't feel like climbing at all is an issue. Uh, but again, to recap, I like it, I like it a lot. I could uh, do some serious miles on this bike, and it's fun too. It's it's a big climber, but at the same time, I mean, I had a really good time on those downhills.
just does everything really well. So, peace out. Whiskey.